Hello. Yes, that's right. Boris Johnson has utter contempt for Nigel Farage and his Brexit party. What did I tell you? Nigel, if I may, and you, Richard Tice, the Tories, Boris Johnson, had no intention of forming a Leave Alliance with the Brexit Party. You must be very naive and inexperienced politically to have believed that. But maybe Nigel Farage already knew the outcome, but had to offer the hand of friendship and cooperation. It uh, leaves him in good stead with the public that he's trying to sort this. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe because it's the logical and most sensible thing to do. Uh, an alliance, a leave alliance with the Tories and the Brexit party. Because it's the most sensible and logical thing to do, you believe they'd have to do it? Well, no. Like I've said before, and I'll say again, you're the enemy, Mr Farage, right? You want reform and change. These fuckers don't. They want to carry on as normal, right? Because this is not just about Brexit. It's about their very existence. Should we uh, have a clean break from the EU and Britain's back on its feet and we're great again and our armed forces are getting bigger and stronger and unemployment vanishes and so on and so on and we start uh, closing our borders and also stopping hundreds of thousands coming in from the Commonwealth as well. It's not just Eastern Europe. And their jobs have gone. They know it. That's the end of them. So they're fighting for their very political careers as well. You see, Boris Johnson is gambling, but I think the odds are stacked in his favour because being a British nationalist the past 40 odd years, I know the public more than anyone, especially after working on the doors for 27 years. Christ, I know them only too well. If there's two options, one of them is a fight or the other one is an easier option, the public will go for the easier option. So that's why I believe, and I may be wrong, they will vote Conservative, they'll vote for Boris Johnson because it's the easier option. The public don't want to fight. I know the public more than anyone, except drunken ones in bars and clubs, but we're not talking about them now. We're talking about voters. And remember, the public aren't think uh, thinkers. The voters, the faithful, think the way we do. Right? But the public doesn't. The public are voters. They're not thinkers. So they're given two options. Uh, like Nigel Farage said in his Newport speech, the previous video I've just uploaded. Do you know what I upload? I thought I'd uploaded that a month ago and I hadn't, I hadn't, so I must have had it on private or unlisted or whatever. But anyway, like he says in there, we're up for a fight. The fateful are, Nigel, but the public aren't. If there's two options, a fight or an easy option, they'll go for the easy option. That's the public for you, right? Now, I'm not saying uh, any uh, Brexit uh, candidates won't be elected. None of us know. What you want to do, Mr Farage, is concentrate on yourself and Richard Tice being elected. You don't want some bozo in there that doesn't know what they're on about. As he hope not hates at it already. There's a Yorkshire um, parliamentary, pr pr prospective parliamentary candidate. I can't remember her name now. Uh, she's saying, I think she's been deselected now. She's saying that... Uh, Aliens are in cahoots with uh, world governments and she comes from this faraway star, Syria it is it or something, Sirius or something, I can't remember. I've seen it on the Hope Not Hate blog. So Hope Not Hate is starting already, like I said they were. But anyway, uh, so uh, Boris Johnson's gambling. He's gambling big time because it's all, there's a, lot, there's a lot to gamble for this because he's hoping that the public will go for the easier option, the anger's turned to apathy and they'll vote Conservative. Nigel Farage is hoping, and I, I hope it's, it is the case, that the public will be so incensed at Boris Johnson's betrayal, they'll vote uh, for the Brexit party, ushering in dozens of uh, Brexit uh, party uh, MPs, which will be literally unbelievable if that happens. Had you won in Peterborough, you may have had a chance because the public would have had a bit more confidence and you know what lost you the votes in Peterborough don't you hope not hate do you remember the guy with the uh, make America great again uh, baseball cap on standing amongst all the anti-Trump 
uh, protesters, asking them questions they couldn't answer. That's a typical open no hate modus operandi where they spies Lauren Southern, uh, Luke Nash Jones, Tommy Robinson, all the rest of them. Ask their uh, feminists of anti racist questions they can't answer, and it gives them street cred and kudos, doesn't it? Well, he was asking the uh, anti Trump demonstrators questions they couldn't answer. He's attacked and thrown on the floor. Uh, the papers, strangely enough, never named him. And once again, he's vanished into the oblivion. No one's seen him since, have they? Uh, he was on all of the news channels, in all the papers. Now, people's, people say to me, well, that would make people vote for the Brexit policy. No, it makes the fateful vote. The public just see violence and confrontation. And don't forget, the guy with the baseball cap on, make America great again, that was attacked. He was a Trump supporter. Well, who's a friend of Trump? Nigel Farage. What's Nigel Farage all about? Brexit. What party does he belong to? The Brexit party. So that may sway just enough to not vote and maybe vote Tory or Lib Dem or whatever. Right, that's all being contrived and set up, Nigel. And the start now already, the latest one in uh, Batley and Spen, is it? Or something like that in... Uh, I'll leave the link below in Yorkshire. This latest uh, Brexit candidate going on about aliens or whatever. But anyway, uh, everything I say keeps coming true, doesn't it? Have you noticed? Anyway, so what you need to do, Nigel, concentrate on yourself and Richard Tice, because you don't want some bozo in there, balls in it all up, balls in a golden opportunity up. But I don't know yet. There may still be a lot of anger in the public, and uh, Boris Johnson may get that horrible smirk uh, wiped off his face. I don't know. I don't know, we'll just have to see. But Boris Johnson, because he's been around a while, and he'll have very astute uh, analysis, if that's the right word, or observers or whatever, uh, advising them. Psychologists, whatever, you'd be surprised. And they will tell him that, listen, the public, the public is not up for a fight. The public's up for the easier option, which is your watered down uh, Brexit deal, but it's not even that, it's a sellout, isn't it? We know what it is. But anyway, the public again are not thinkers, Nigel. The voters, right? You have to really, really get your act together, right? Get on the campaign trail. Get yourself elected, or Richard Tice. You only need you or him in there, and that's it. That's the beginning of the real fight back, right? You've got to get in there, right? You've got to get in uh, Parliament, right? No good coming second or whatever. You've got to get in there. And that's where the fight starts. But Boris Johnson's got us to contend for yourself, Nigel. Richard Tice, the Brexit party. As he's got us to contend for the likes of myself and British nationalism and whatever. But like I've said before in another video, in an ironic twist of fate, you've replaced Nick Griffin. Obviously a lot more professional than that bloody bozo, but whatever. Um Nick Griffin done a good job, but he just wasn't up for it at the end of the day. They ran rings round him, hope not hate. Let's hope they don't do it to you. You've got Joe Owens now advising you, giving you good advice, Nigel. Right, I'm always here. Right, I don't want to fear on, I'll do it for none. Right, but it's already started, hope not hate. But anyway, um, Boris Johnson just holds you in utter contempt. Right, he had no intentions ever of forming a leave alliance, even though that would be uh, in his and the Conservatives' best interest. He still won't do it. Like I've said, they'd rather die before they form an electoral uh, alliance, a leave alliance with yourself and the Brexit party because you're for reform and change. Because your reform and change will put the likes of that shower out of a job and hopefully into prison or at the very least into the Thames, right? You've got a fight on your hands here, Nigel, because let's look at the worst case scenario. I'll have to keep this short, sweet. I've got to go to the gym in a minute. If I don't get on that treadmill, I'll go crazy. I've got, I've got to burn some anger off, you know. Uh, you've got, I've lost track then, what I was going to say. You've got to fight on your hands here, Nigel. You've got to get on the campaign trail. You've got to get yourself or Richard Tice or someone else that's uh, capable, elected, like I've said, you don't want a golden opportunity ballsed up by some bozo that doesn't know what they're on about or doesn't know what to say, right? But anyway, you've got to get yourself out there, right? This is not only a fight for Brexit, it's a fight for Britain. And now I believe the penny has truly dropped, hasn't it, Nigel? The people you're fighting, Nigel, if I may, are the same people 
British nationalists have been fighting. John Tyndall, Nick Griffin, myself, many others for the past 40, 50 years. There's no difference. You're just doing it a lot better than what we did. But you live in lane, you live in lane. But there's a fight on your hands, Nigel. Trust me, you've got a fight on your hands. But you're up for it. You're up for it. Anyway, I'm going to the gym now. Okay, thank you. Hello. I'd like to add, where I lost track uh, when I was talking, I said about the worst case scenario of having uh, no Brexit party uh, MPs elected. You can't roll over and die, Nigel. You have to continue this fight. Because that is, that is the worst case scenario, and it's not a good one either, right? But if it happens, because there's a possibility it may, I don't know, we shall see. You can't roll over and die. I'm sure you're not going to all Richard dies. You have to continue with this fight. We're all counting on you. Okay, thank you.